Ryan the Piranha Ghana. I'm a 19 year old featherweight professional boxer from Southampton. Ryan Garner is the latest in a long line of talented boxers to have emerged from Great Britain in recent years. The teenager turned professional last year and he's won all six of his fights so far. To find out more about one of the hottest prospects in the British fight game, Transworld Sport headed to Southampton on England's south coast, where Ryan lives and trains. Frank Hopkins is the youngster's manager. When you watch him, you watch him fight, you know he's going to the top. He's just turned 19. He's got a fantastic career in front of him, and he's as good as anyone I've ever seen at that age. And I've been at the game 40 years. I was amateur for eight years, boxed for Swamps Amateur Boxing Club and England, represented England 19 times. I won three English titles back to back. Um, I boxed all around the world, Philippines, Russia, Ukraine, Ireland. I won a European gold. Got to the quarterfinals of the World Junior Championships, losing to the world champion from Cuba. Ryan started his amateur career aged 11, but decided against pursuing Olympic glory in favour of joining the professional ranks at the earliest opportunity. He signed a deal with promoter Frank Warren last year. Despite huge success on the amateur circuit, Ryan's coach Wayne Batten believes that his technique was always more suited to the professional game. I thought naturally then he had a, more of a professional style than what suited the amateur, amateur boxing. Um, and obviously his dreams and ambition was to turn pro um, when he was 18. And since he has been a professional boxer in the last year, I've seen a massive um, improvement in all aspects really from his training from, to maturing up to a man and to his boxing ability. There was always that in the back of my mind, going, maybe going to the Olympics. So instead of waiting around until I was 20 to go to the next Olympics, I could turn over at 18, go professional, and who knows, by the time I could have went to the Olympics, I could be a world champion in a professional game, earn good money for myself, do you know what I mean, ha living a good life. Covering up. Super featherweight Ryan has won five of his six pro fights by knockout. His most recent victory came in London with a first round KO of Hungary's Tamás Laska. If it happens, it happens, I'll get him out there in the first round, but I don't go in there to, I'm, like, I'm going to blow him out in one round. Obviously, I'll go in there, see what, see what my opponent is like, and I just play it round by round. Obviously, like, like all the best elite fighters, they can adapt. They, they see what a different, like, different styles of fighters are like, and then they adapt, and then they, do, they go to work on people. I think he overwhelms boxers quickly with his work rate and his style. It didn't surprise me, no, because I've seen what he's been like in the gym and the things we've been working on. Uh, so, no, it didn't surprise me. Um, they got over so quick. Ryan recently sparred with former two-time world champion Carl Frampton of Northern Ireland. It gave him a taste of the training and commitment required to reach the very top of this most demanding of sports. I've been sparring Frampton that, like, the last couple of weeks. So I'm learning a lot of people like that, and hopefully I'll pick up things from them, and, and in the long run of my career down the line, I'll, I can be even better than them, like, just be the best I can be, really. He's a cheeky little um, character, but it's all in good humour. The week leading up to the fight, he definitely changes. Obviously, he's making weight and dieting, and, you know, I can see a, definitely see a different side of him then. Um, yeah, his mentality changes a little bit. He gets a little bit grumpy, but that's natural of a, a boxer being in that position, really. Ryan started boxing as a form of training for his other passion, football. Initially, Garner dreamed of becoming a professional footballer. After showing early promise at the Southampton Football Academy, as well as in the ring, he had to decide which path to pursue. Ryan's father, Mick, identified his son's sporting potential from a young age. Very, very good at sport. I must admit, every single sport he's done, he's been good at. And when he was at school, very clever when he was as a youngster. There were several times that um, Ryan and his brothers were uh, uh, 
I'll, I'll, I'll put it as boisterous, but should we say 14, quite a lot between themselves. Where I've got two older brothers from a young age now, I've always been fighting with them. They've always been beating me up. So I've always been like around that environment, fighting with my brothers and that. And then I just got the bug from it straight there. I think I was just, I was just good at it from the start. And then like the coaches, they all said just stick at it and that. And it's just become a big dream of mine. I, I realised I was, I was better at boxing than what I was at football. So I just stuck with it. Ryan's training base, the Pound for Pound Showground, is situated within a stone's throw of St Mary's Football Stadium. Home to English Premier League side Southampton, the venue is yet to play host to live boxing since opening in 2000. However, Garner, who's a big Southampton fan, dreams of changing all of that one day. I'm born and bred in Southampton, and this has got to be the biggest attraction in Southampton, the football. Um, so I said to Ryan, how, you know, what would it be like for you to fight there one day for a world title in front of 20, 30,000 people? I'm sure we can do it, and that's what our plan, and that's what our goal is. We, got, we set ourselves like a four-year plan, um, and I'm sure we, we'll do it. We, we've been saying for a little while now, since I've been turning pro, that is both of our, that's not just my dream, that's his dream as well. He wants me, me to fight in, out in this, out in St Mary's Stadium. So hopefully one day, who knows, when I've got my own world title, hopefully I can fill this up and then it'll be the best thing for me in my life that I could accomplish and for the um, city of Southampton. Ryan's next fight was meant to be in September. However, a few days after we filmed with him, he suffered a setback. He was found guilty of driving under the influence of cocaine and crashing his brother's car. Although he avoided prison, the British Board of Boxing Control have given him a temporary suspension. He's expected to be back in the ring later this year, and he knows that if he's to make it, then he needs to avoid such incidents, which have blighted the careers of other rising boxers.